All right, Broncos country, film studies are back here on the channel, and I figured there's no better player to highlight in our first film study back than Jaquan McMillan, because I thought that Jaquan played a phenomenal game against the Chargers, and he really is turning into a rising superstar for this Denver Broncos team. On this first play right here, they've got Jaquan McMillan in the slot, and he is looking like he's going to blitz on this play. Vance Joseph has found a way to utilize Jaquan McMillan as a blitzer from the nickel position position and it really has worked out very well for this Denver Broncos team. Now this first play right here, I don't know if this is just pure instinct from Jaquan McMillan or if this is just a design delayed blitz off of the play action. So you'll see right here, this is going to be play action and McMillan almost at first looked like looks like he's just kind of hanging around in the coverage waiting to see if this is going to be a run or a passing play. But once he sees it's a pass play, he's got the freedom to go in and charge right after Justin Herbert. You'll see right here that the left tackle Rashawn Slater is currently in a bad position. He's way over committed to the left side and once he realizes what's going on here, Jaquan McMillan is already way past him and he's gonna get to Justin Herbert cleanly right here for a sack. Herbert's got nothing open on this play and McMillan comes in like a heat seeking missile dude. It's not just his coverage abilities that he's been able to shine, it's also as a blitzer at the nickel spot. And this second play right here, this man got robbed of a strip sack fumble. So you'll see right here, Easton Stick takes a snap, and unfortunately the camera angle kind of cuts it off. This one looks more like just a, de a designed blitz right here for Jaquan McMillan. He fires right off the edge. Very similar situation, the right tackle Trey Pipkins way over commits, and... That just allows Jaquan McMillan to run free off the edge. This is almost on Easton Stick to me for not changing the protection and realizing that Jaquan McMillan could be coming right in his face right there. Blasts him, and this really should have been a return to the house. Unfortunately, it was determined that um, Easton Stick's arm was coming forward, and this was ruled an incomplete pass. Still a nice third down play that forced the Chargers to punt, allowing the Broncos to get a field goal on their final drive heading into halftime. Should have been a touchdown. Thanks, Jerry Judy. But I really felt like Jaquan McMillan was worth highlighting here because not only has he been elite in coverage for the Denver Broncos, the Broncos have found a way to utilize him as a blitzer at the nickel spot, and it really is something special that they may have found here in Jaquan McMillan.